What's up, Wesley Littlefield with Campus Waterfowl. This week's review is over answer decoys. I gotta say, I am super impressed with the decoys. They're strong, durable, uh, they hold up well. Here in Oklahoma, we get a lot of wind, so that's always a question of mine, but honestly, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. They've got a, a good backbone support, strong Tyvex, a good T-handle to push down and pull out, um, flocked heads, but what I'm most excited about is their sidekick. It adds a whole new dimension to your spread. You know, it's almost like having full bodies. That way you can change the angles of the dirt birds. They're not all facing one direction like most socks do. And, uh, you know, it's it's awesome in my opinion. Uh, I love the innovation. You know, that that's what I'm after as a waterfowl hunter is I want to support a company that's willing to innovate and improve the game for my sake and for their sake. But, uh, you know, I'll get on with the review. Like I said, I'm most impressed with the sidekick. Um, but they did send us a few others. They sent us like a blue and it's got the T handle support. It's, you know, just fiberglass stakes, your Tyvex body, plastic, if you can see that or not, but your plastic backbone support. And um, that's what they all, you know, they all were. The spec is pretty cool. They've got the heads actually built onto the fiberglass stake. So, um, you know, you don't have to worry about putting heads on, taking them off, that kind of thing. It's all attached and ready to rock and roll and less pieces to lose in my opinion. You know, they get lost around, roll around in the trailer, or open the door, kicked out and lost forever kind of thing. So, um, yeah, but I'm impressed. Um, you know, the one thing that's tough is price point, but they're American made and you honestly can't go wrong supporting American made products. Um, even if they are a little bit higher price, in my opinion, it's worth it. So uh, I encourage y'all to check them out and keep, you know, keep encouraging us. If you guys like this, let us know. What's up everybody, Derek Christians here with Campus Waterfall. Today we'll be reviewing answer decoys. Uh, obviously they make some sock decoys, so we're just gonna go one by one and uh, show you a few of the features and some of my personal thoughts about the decoys. Uh, to start out, we'll start out just with their simple sock uh, design. This, one thing we've looked at are the stakes. The stakes are very durable. Um, they do have like a little T at the top, you can see. And uh, with that, you're just able to crush it right into the ground right away um, without them breaking. I've tested it probably a few times and um, I have yet to break one. So uh, they do have a strong backbone. Uh, the one thing I did notice is uh, looking at other company, this companies' designs, they do not have like a snap down backbone. Um, so that is one downside of storage and all that stuff. Um, but they do fold flat pretty well, so if you have something where it's wide enough where you can fold them flat, um, we're good to go. Actually got a couple geese behind me right now. Um, second, we'll look at one with uh, a fully flocked head and simple Canada goose. Same design with the flock, with the sock, same backbone, and uh, they do not fold snap flat. Um, so they do come in four different species of geese. They got the blues, the snows, the Canadas, and the specks. Um, they do come in all different sizes, or not sizes, but different styles. So if you want a spec head on this one, you can get a spec head. Um, it just all varies. You're, they're all interchangeable, so if you really want a Canada goose head on a snow, you can go for it. Um, but I guess one thing that does set answer decoys apart from the rest is their patent, patent pending design of the side sock, if you haven't noticed already. Um, instead of having the sock opening in the front and the wind directly going in, uh, they decided to put it on the side, which initially you think, well, why the heck would you do that? Um, but looking at it and watching it sort of work in the wind and stuff, um, it does have a little movement. Um, one thing that I've noticed is the head positioning. It's not really facing into the wind all the time. It could be on the side and all this kind of stuff. And that was the whole design with it. it was the purpose of it because it is actually it is a feeder decoy so uh, feeders do walk around and they tend to um, not face the wind or anything like that um, but there is they have the backbone here and then they do have another stake going across here um, and that's one thing that sort of sets them apart and you guys can should uh, look into them and uh, see if they'll work in your spread but I guess I recommend checking them out, check out their website, um, see if it's right for you. Um, I've noticed since they are made in the U.S., they do come with a little premium uh, pricing, so they do cost a little bit more, I've noticed. Um, but overall, they do uh, withstand the test, 
and you just definitely just see if it's something for you and it fits your spread. So hope you guys are having a great time and you guys can look forward to more product reviews from Canvas Waterfall. Thanks for watching. Uh, click the like and subscribe button if you guys like what we're doing. Uh, we got some exciting stuff coming up this fall for you guys.